So, I thought I'd give you a quick demo of um, the test level. This is Chris's test level. And I'm just getting the AI to play it right now. A whole bunch of uh, not useful behaviour still. Turn the audio down a little bit. Uh, volume mixer. Guess zero. Yes, yeah, so uh, F11, let's see what we see. Um, yeah, you see, they, the problem is that if you don't have some way of filtering out positions that have already been taken in cover and that kind of thing, you tend to get this kind of deal going on. All oh, right, obviously, there's a lot of bodies and stuff there, but still. And let's just turn off the have a mesh. These green arrows are um, shot direction vectors. <laughs> Far too many bodies. But it's um, it's interesting, really. Just uh, this is Chris's team elimination map, and I've just got a couple of. My AI squad spawners in there. Um, just randomly spawning extra dudes until they reach a certain limit. Uh, so let's just stop that for a second and start it. So there's a whole bunch of issues that it brings up when you try and spawn a whole bunch of actors. Things like this physics pinging them out of the map and uh, them not know where to go. It's actually quite difficult targeting specific AI actors right now because they die so quickly. Um, I'm probably going to up the health on them to something silly so they can stay in battle for longer so I can actually see what the AI is doing with them. But um, yeah, performance is interesting. They're not, it's not massively slow anything. Obviously, I've not got any of the you know, the lighting and all that kind of business on, but mm, it's not so bad. I thought it would be a lot better, but a uh, lot worse, sorry. So, that's good. Let's just go up to perspective. So the idea is that they're um, eventually, uh, for some new reason, this team seems to always lose. I don't like the lighting on this, but obviously it's just a test level. There's nothing in there. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to work on the cover selections a little bit now, just to get the sort of expensive version in the game, um, which will make some of this a little bit easier. I want to say the expensive version. Well, actually, can it be expensive? I suppose technically it could be. Um... Yeah, so we'll see what happens with that. I've got the squad spawning in at least, so I can do some tests and stuff. Honestly, the the game mode stuff is kind of funky right now. It's, there's a lot of stuff in there, and I'm uh, I'm not entirely sure what's responsible for what still. So I've just kind of hacked this thing together. Um, but the squads and the squad members are aware of each other, which is useful. Um, so I can start working on more of the, the actual behavior. Uh, uh, for instance, right now the squad members don't know to avoid firing each other, so you'll see quite a bit of shooting each other in the back and that kind of thing. Um, they don't know each other exist. Uh, technically, they shouldn't really have to, but in a... In a practical sense they need to be able to avoid each other and now uh, that's a different part of the code so I'm still thinking about whether I should change that to work a little bit differently and of course you get the occasional guy going off the edge there you go that's um, that's what we've kind of got right now and uh, yeah it's an interesting thing to debug so yeah uh, more later bye bye